This is the Omen X2S, a dual screen gaming laptop with an RTX 2070, a 144 hertz display, it's thin and portable, a mobile gaming experience for cutting edge performance and multitasking. What's up guys, Ben here from Authentech and I'm super pumped about this one. You know I'm a little bit of a gamer and they sent over something I'm really excited to check out. So without further ado, let's jump in and unbox. Uh, you ready? Here we go. Ta da! Dual screen. Sweet. Look at this 144. It's gonna be so crisp and fast for gaming while on the go, taking it to LAN parties. We got a second monitor here. There's gonna be some really cool things that we can do on the second screen. This thing is built for gaming, and I'm excited to test it out. All right, what else is in the box? We got the power brick. It's 230 watt. I like the slim uh, profile. That's really good for portability. And then what else do we got? Papers. And here I believe is the wrist rest. Ooh, oh man. Nice it's a nice rubber. little addition. I know a lot of laptops don't have that. Yeah, I'm guessing that thumps up just yeah. perfect. That's nice. That'll make gaming a lot more comfortable so your wrists aren't just floating. Yeah, it's a good touch. I like it. All right, let's check out the I.O. We got power. We got full HDMI, a couple USBs, Ethernet, headphone jack, Thunderbolt, another USB, lots more ventilation. I kind of like this small little uh, hinge. Pretty lightweight, uh, good size. I'm excited to do some gaming on the go. Not having to bring my whole rig, separate monitor. Having the 144 built in is so sweet. We got RGB built into the keyboard. That's gonna be really sweet to play with. All right, so we just got booted up. This is basically like a whole second screen. It's an extension from the first screen, which is really cool having a secondary monitor built into your uh, laptop. Omen Command Center, real-time screen mirroring, virtual numpad, settings and reset. A lot of cool stuff built in here. All right, let's turn it on for the first time. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. That's so cool, the little mouse moved in and then as I slide it up, boom, it's onto the primary display. That's really cool. Okay, we have a finder window. Drag it down, there it is. Wow, that's so cool. I don't know, is it touch? Oh, it is, look at that. Oh, I wonder if I could use this as like a mini little tablet for drawing. Let's say I wanna add some graphic assets to my videos, draw it on here and then shoot it up. That's a pretty cool idea. All right, let's go into like display settings real quick, see what control we have. Oh, there it is, rearrange secondary displays uh, down so there. So they made it the same resolution, so it's really easy to manage flipping stuff between them. So look at this tiny little guy down here, it's a 1080, 60 hertz, that's really cool. And then this primary up here is a 1080, 144. Perfect for gaming. All right, Origin is loaded up. Apex is super hot. I'm loving it right now. So gotta start that download. I'm excited to see uh, if it can pump out that 144 frames. It's just really kind of cool and surreal having the secondary high res monitor down here that's touch screen so you can be doing so much multitasking and uh, just a lot more screen real estate squeezed into a small portable package. This is so perfect. So let's say I'm gaming up here and then down here on the secondary, I'm able to see the GPU uh, consumption, heat, temperatures, everything right there at a glance. So look at all this, we got system vitals, we can optimize different performance. So another one of my favorite features of this dual display, not only seeing the system vitals, on this tab we're able to optimize the performance and so you hear those loud fans. I was able to crank it up to performance mode with fan speed maximum. So this way I'm best optimized for gaming and cranking out all possible 144 frames. Boom, look at those frames. 144, easy. I love the RGB backlit keyboard and check out some of the fun customization it has. So we can customize the LED lighting on the keyboard as well as the exterior logo. So throw it on a little animation, put on jungle, fast, apply, and then check this out. That's pretty cool. Got real-time screen mirroring down here. That's really cool. So we can cut out a section from our primary monitor and drop it down to duplicate or mirror it down here. The pixel density down here is really good. Makes the display look super crisp. Second screen brightness, all sorts of settings. 
Very cool. Dang, look at the graphics on there. Looks pretty sharp. Let's see what it auto set me up for. All right, for under video settings, it auto gave us triple buffer. And look at all these things, automatically high. Very sweet. All I can say is the 144 on this laptop looks really good. So look at this, we're gaming up here and then down here, we're able to see all our system specs and vitals. Let's cover some of the key features and specs. These were the specs my laptop came with, but your configuration may vary depending on your build. It has a 9th gen Intel i7, 9750H, a 512 gig SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and an RTX 2070. The smaller secondary display is a six inch 1080 touchscreen and up top is a 15.6 inch 1080p 144 hertz screen which is where the magic lies this delivers crisp gameplay on a micro edge bezel display so now I have a true gaming laptop that is mobile without needing to bring a secondary monitor with me for example I have a vacation coming up and I just might probably bring this guy with me to sneak in a bit of gaming and it's awesome knowing I don't need to bring much else with me for a complete and competitive gaming experience wherever I go. Gotta keep that rank up. The Omen X2S is impressive and a fun gaming laptop. It's packed with sweet specs and performance, lots of neat utility on that secondary display, always there for improved productivity or dual monitor interactions. No more alt tabbing out of your full screen display to control that secondary program. Watching industry trends, I'd say that the future has a lot of dual screen tech coming down the road, so this is just the beginning, which is exciting. As always, all links for more info will be down below. And if you're new around here, consider sticking around for more tech videos every week. Until next time, let's live all authentic.